Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me, what happens to my case if my plea is withdrawn? The purpose of a plea is to close a case. The purpose of moving to withdraw a plea is to reopen the case. Sometimes this is done before sentencing. Other times it's done after sentencing. And while this distinction matters procedurally, in the end it doesn't. It's a whole hell of a lot easier to undo a plea before you've been sentenced than afterwards. But again, if the court grants your motion and your plea is withdrawn, in the end, the practical result is the same. Your not guilty plea is reinstated and you will face a trial. And this is going to play out in front of a judge who you first made very happy when you entered your plea. After all, by pleading, you closed an open case and you reduced the court's audit. But now, the judge is likely going to be of the opinion that when you took that plea, you did little more than waste the court's time. So you'll have that going for you. Since you asked, your plea is going to be undone, including your sentence if it was already pronounced. You're going to get your day in court, and on that glorious day, the fact that you once had entered a guilty or no contest plea to the charge will not come out at trial. But even though the prosecutor can't use that fact that you entered and withdrew a plea during a subsequent trial, and even though the law doesn't allow the judge or the prosecutor to hold that against you, if you're ultimately found guilty, don't be surprised if your sentence exceeds the plea bargain. Why? There's a solid reason for the old adage, be careful what you wish for. You just might get it. So proceed with caution. Thank you for your question. I appreciate your having asked it. I invite you to ask me more. Please remember at Michael A. Haber, PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, please subscribe. We'll be putting out more soon.